Hey loves, Kim here and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time on the channel, I just would like to say welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. I am a Sims 4 gamer and in today's video, I wanted to talk about the top cheat codes that I use while building in The Sims 4. Utilizing cheats unlocks so many opportunities to create unique and incredible builds. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Disclaimer, I play The Sims 4 on Windows PC. These cheats should work pretty much the same for Mac users, but I'm not entirely sure for console players. The first step in using cheats in The Sims 4 is enabling cheats. On a computer, you can open the cheat dialog box by pressing the buttons Control, Shift, and the letter C on Windows, Command, Shift, and the letter C on Mac, and on console by pressing all four shoulder buttons at the same time. Once the cheat dialog box is open in the top left corner, type in the following. Testing, cheats, true. Alternatively, you can swap out the word true for the word on. They both do the same thing. Be sure to type it in exactly how I have it on the screen or it will not work. After you press enter, the game will let you know that cheats are now enabled. If for some reason you wanted to disable cheats, type in the following. Testing, cheats, false or off. The first build mode cheat that I like to use is bb.moveobjectson. This cheat allows you to place objects anywhere on the lot and it ignores the normal object placement rules in build mode. Here are some keyboard shortcuts to help with objects placement. The period and comma keys allow you to rotate objects in increments of 45 degrees. In order to freely rotate objects, hold down the Alt key and use your mouse to drag the object until you like the placement. The bracket keys allows you to increase and decrease the size of objects. With the item selected, press left bracket to increase the object size and the right bracket to decrease it. You can raise and lower objects by holding down the control key on Windows, command key on Mac, and the standard nine and zero keys. Do not use the numbers on the 10 keypad because this will not work. Unfortunately, you cannot use this cheat to lower items below its default placement height. Alternatively, you can hold down the Alt key and the 9 and 0 keys to raise and lower items. The difference is the Control key defaults the item to the center of a grid tile and the Alt key offsets the item to the grid tile. Because you are now placing items outside of the normal build mode restrictions, be sure to playtest your lots constantly to make sure that there's no routing errors for your gameplay. Another quick tip that I would like to briefly highlight is for roofing. With the roof selected, press Shift and the letter C. This will give your roof extra anchor points from which you can edit the curvature. The next cheat that I would like to talk about is kind of long but so worth it. Type in BB dot ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement to gain access to all of the items that you would usually have to unlock through gameplay. These items include career plaques and trophies, promotional rewards, rewards from social events, and other items usually locked unless achieved through gameplay. The next two cheats are perfect for those who love clutter. The bb.showHiddenObjects cheat allows you to access the debug menu, which is full of items not available in the standard catalog. Although most of these items are decorative, they offer a level of detail perfect to make your builds feel more alive and lived in. If you want even more objects to play around with, try using the bb.showLiveEditObjects cheat. With this activated, you now have access to over a thousand additional items. Yes, that's right, a thousand additional items that are usually seen throughout the neighborhoods. These items include decorative vehicles, traffic signals, 
building shelves, and so much more. The two main drawbacks to using debug items are most of these items are listed as debug, so searching for something in particular can be difficult. Also, the game does not allow you to eyedrop debug items, so if you plan on using a debug item more than once, be sure to grab more than what you think you need. If you have the extra time and determination, going through these items can be well worth the search. The next cheat I like to use is bb.enableFreeBuild. This cheat allows you to build on lots that are usually locked during gameplay. These lot types include residential, rental, retail, restaurant, or other community lots. There are a few specialty lots in which you're able to build on, but not able to edit the property details. These lots include the career lots from the Get to Work expansion pack, the Von Haunt Estate, the Bluffs in Windenburg, and the hidden worlds like Sylvan Glade and Willow Creek, Forgotten Grotto in Oasis Springs, the Hermit's Hut in Granite Falls, and the Alien Party World of Sixum. This cheat will not have an effect on lots created for predetermined gameplay, like the Secret Lab in Strangerville, or the temples in Silver Dorada. Last but not least, I would like to touch on getting funding for your builds. One of my favorite cheats is free real estate on. This cheat allows you to move your household into any residential lot regardless of the price. You must be in the process of moving and in the map view in order to use this cheat. Once the cheat box says that it's activated, you will notice that all of the residential lots have turned green and you can move your sims right on in. If you're already settled and need a few more simoleons to continue building, you can type in the following. Kaching will give you 1,000 extra simoleons. Rosebud will also give you 1,000 extra simoleons. Motherload will give you 50,000 extra simoleons. And my personal favorite, type in money, then input the exact amount you need. I also discovered that the free build cheat will give you infinite funds to build even if you're on your home lot. Well that concludes the top cheats that I like to use for build mode. Let me know if there's any new cheat from my video that you will add to your builder's tool belt. And feel free to leave me your favorite building tricks down in the comment section below. I truly hope that you have found this information helpful. And if you did, feel free to like, comment, and share this video. It helps me and my channel out more than you know. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.